So a couple of people have messaged me uh, asking if I'm kind of experiencing any sort of adverse effects of the lockdown, whether my sort of behaviour has changed anyway. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, all this is normal, right? This is my floor. These are my cans. Look at the state on them. It's like an explosion in a paint factory. Sometimes I think I should just stop painting dogs and start just decorating cans because the way that these end up is just crazy. I mean, how am I supposed to tell what, what color that is? It's just, I mean, look at that one. It's just covered. Oh, there's it's on the back. Hey, okay, excellent. Uh, but yeah, very messy. Very tired now. You look a little squished. You little squished. He is not amused. You're doing the squishing. Yes. While you were away, I've um, been doing some stuff to little Oscar here. I've done uh, all of the white underneath the mouth bits. Uh, I've done a few little more bits to the bottoms of the ears on either side. Um, got to a bit of a scary point now because it's 99.9% .9 done um, and you know kind of customers really happy with it there's obviously bits that I'm still not happy with and it's kind of at what point do I stop and say enough is enough um, I know that there's a few more bits that I've got to do anyway. Like I said, we've got to take all of the, the polythene off, all the tape off, and have a look and see if there's any bits that need tidying up. Um, but generally, overall, I think we are there. Um, uh, yeah. Let's start taking stuff off and see what it looks like. So I know that under this bit, there's going to be an issue. Um, polythene is my saving grace, but if you're not careful, it can leave the outline of the shape that you cut in the polythene on the picture below. And that's what's happening here. So we have this kind of bit, uh, which is not quite what I want it to look like um, so I'm gonna to have to put some little flecks of white and dark in there so I think I'm gonna keep it covered up for a minute sort that bit out and then we'll take the rest of the polythene off um, I have now also completely run out of CMP brown um, and really I need some CMP brown um, but yeah, I really need a bit of CMP brown. So for this to work, we need to get the last little bit out of this can. So I'm going to shake it and shake it some more. Pray for me. Uh, so we are 
99.9.999.9% there. I've uh, kind of done all the little edgy bits. Uh, again, I didn't film it because it was really fiddly. It was all kind of stop start, masking stuff off and putting it all back together again. And so, yeah, I've kind of done all of the wispy bits of hair around the outside. Still got this bit to peel off to reveal, but I'm going to do that last. I think that should be all okay. Um, so the last thing to do is on here. You can't really see it, I don't think. Let's see if we can make that a bit brighter. It's darker. No, that's brighter. Maybe you can see with that. Um, little bits of the canvas that are still showing through. Just need to darken in some areas here. And then it will be finished. We hope. I mean, it's never really finished. Not in my mind anyway, um, so much more that I could do. Um, but also, I get to a point where it's so scary. This is so scary now because it's it's 99.9.9999999% done. Uh, and if I mess it up here, oh, I could have to go back and redo loads of stuff. So I have to be really, really careful and one of the things that I'm not very good at is being really, really careful because I live in a mess, as you can see here. Um, so, yeah, I've got to try hard and concentrate and get this done. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just being, I'm being fussy now. I think it's done. I've got one tiny, one teeny tiny little thing left to do, and then it's done. I can still see some little bits of the canvas coming through here, but I think it just uh, makes it look a little bit like it's a highlight, and it kind of lifts it all out. So I'm going to leave that as it is just a teeny tiny little patch of hair to do down in this little bit there and then we'll take all that off and we'll see what we've got Okay, that's it. Let's take this all off and see what we got. See what we got. Yep, I'm pretty pleased with that. There's some marks and stuff that are still uh, on there, some little kind of dots, which I could go back and clean up. So this bit here, a uh, little bit of black paint on an orange bit. And up here, there's lots of white little speckles. But I think, you know, one of the things that's important to me is that it still looks like a, um, I've used uh, spray paint um, and so I'm gonna leave those little bits in there because I could go I could go back over and do that little bits again I could go back into there um, as you know I'm a perseverer I could do that but um, I think I'm gonna leave it I think that Oscar is done apart from Well, 
So, we finished. Uh, finished all the painting, anyway, at least. Uh, what's left to do now is to get rid of the grid lines. Um, and I do that using this little scrubby brush, some water with some soap in it, a bit of kitchen roll, and an eraser or rubber. Struggled for ages to uh, find the best way of removing pencil lines from a canvas after you finish painting and uh, dug around on YouTube and I found one video from one guy uh, showing you how to do it. So I'm going to link that in the description of this video um, and I'm just going to do a little different version of it really. So um, yeah. First thing we do is get our little scrubby brush. And this just feels so wrong. But because it's spray paint, water's not going to get rid of it. So you can be pretty reckless when you go right up to the edges. Okay. We'll give it a wipe over with that. And then we use the rubber. Make sure that your rubber is clean. Make sure that you haven't got any, make sure it doesn't look like that. Basically, make sure that the clean end is the end that you're using. And it should just take away everything really nicely. So yeah, hopefully you can see the difference between this bit that I've just done and this bit that I haven't done. Uh, yeah, like I say, I find it's the easiest way of getting rid of pencil lines. Uh, make sure that the uh, eraser that you use is not a... Um, it's not like a kind of putty rubber, it's uh, quite a sort of a solid, kind of plasticky type rubber. Uh, the firm ones, I find, are much better. So yeah, let's take them outside, see what it looks like. So uh, remember these, and they didn't fit. Just going to show you how I get around that problem. Knife, just take a little bit off the end of it. Yep, so make that end a little bit thinner, and then it should go. Away. It's just a pain having to do this uh, every time. To be accurate, just have to make it a bit tapered, and then it should just fit straight in. Like so, you know. So we're about to send him off to Brighton. Uh, got the bubble wrapped up. Got another little bubble wrap bag here, and then he's going to go into a box with a load of polystyrene. Uh, hopefully, we'll get there in one piece. At least there's the plan. So I'm obviously uh, always super paranoid when I have to send a painting off because um, I don't know how it's going to be treated um, hopefully very well 
But just as an extra precaution, um, I've added some bits of wood to the front of this as well. So it's kind of, it's double bubble uh, wrapped. It's in a bubble wrap bag, which is doubled over. Uh, and then I've got these wooden uh, slats just to kind of protect the front of it. So I'm just finishing off attaching these bad boys. And we'll stick it in the box. And we'll hope for the best. So it's done, it's packaged up. Just need to see if I can get a courier now to come pick it up. Scary times. Not quite sure what you want me to do. What are you doing? Oh, it's lazing in the sunshine, is it? Yeah. 